There's one way to enjoy the food at the Kutztown Folk Festival without gaining an ounce. Ah, that is good to know. Kara Millette shows us how in tonight's One Tank Trip. Blueberry, apple, and cherry. Fake, fake, and fake. Up close, you can see the wick, but close your eyes, take a whiff, and you might not know the difference. The smells. I, when it gets really warm, you can smell me outside the booth. In a good way. Jeffrey Bartos and his wife Donna, it was all her idea, are the D and the J of DJ Flickers Candles, also known as the original Faker Bakers. They make and sell candles that look and smell like food. You just walk by and you will smell it. You know, I tease the, the food vendors. You know, it's just like, well, I make them hungry. You ought to pay for some of my booth. But they never do. That booth is here in the neighborhood house undercover at the Kutztown Folk Fest. First I want to set the wick. Where you'll see how candles are made, most of them anyway. We'll actually make everything right here. Now, some things she still won't show. She won't show you how to make the pie shells. That's a trade secret. Their signature pie candles take three days to make. You have to do them in layers. The scraps, leftover wax, are used to make muffins. Today, Jeffrey's making a blue raspberry martini, trading in the baker part for bartender. Just a little bit of raspberry. Getting the right scent is paramount. This one smells like a Jolly Rancher. The peach margarita is Jeffrey's favorite. Our peach comes from the state of Washington. And, but it's the only fragrance I'll buy from them. They have the best peach fragrance I've ever smelled. An attention to detail that's kept them in business for 25 years. In all that time, he's gathered a few stories from the road. I used to have little signs that said, please don't poke them, don't pick them. Pretty self-explanatory, and you'd think that would be enough. If you touch the gel, you'll leave your fingerprint behind. But apparently some just couldn't resist, like these waffles that look really good and smell like Eggos. Well, about 15 years ago, we caught a guy licking it. And since then, I've probably caught at least a dozen lickers. So there are new signs. No poking, no picking, no licking. Refraining from taking a bite on a one-tank trip to DJ Flicker's Candles at the Kutztown Folk Fest. Karen Millette, 69 News. Well, they do look good enough to eat or mm -hmm. lick, maybe. All right. Mm -hmm. Well, the Kutztown Folk Festival runs through Sunday. For festival hours, directions, and much more, you can head to KutztownFestival.com. Mm. I love all those pies, but I am thinking of waffles right now. It's yeah. A beautiful looking one, huh? Yeah. Promise not to lick it if I uh, <laughs> show up there. All right. Now the forecast. Yeah, let's go to Dan. Now, guys, let me know what you want. I'm doing the noon weather live out there tomorrow. Uh -huh. So I'll so bring you Taking something orders. back. All right. <laughs>